Hello trainers, Professor Pom here, and that live stream was awesome! I am so excited to see what other Pokemon content is coming out for 2023, but after seeing it, I just want to share some of my thoughts about what I think about everything. First of all, I want to say that what really attracted my attention the most in the beginning was the Pokemon Path of Peak series. That seems like a great idea based on the TCG, as a lot of us out there play the TCG, collect the cards, and some of us also participate in the tournaments. Seeing a series based on that is a great idea. I also think that the animation looks spectacular. I can't wait to meet all the characters in the Path of Peak. However, there was a little bit of a thought on my head at the moment. Since there are not going to be any Pokemon and they may appear in the cards, is it possible that maybe some of those players are going to need a dual disc? Another thing I really want to talk about from that stream is Detective Pikachu Returns. It's great to see my buddy Pikachu coming back as a detective. We better get ourselves a lot of coffee and get ready for the next mystery. I just think that the game was a lot of fun and even the movie was incredible. But what's really cool about the movie Detective Pikachu is that it was the first video game based movie to get a fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. And seeing that we now have a sequel with Detective Pikachu Returns, is it possible maybe we'll get a sequel for Pokemon Detective Pikachu 2? If that's the case, I hope we get Ryan Reynolds back to be Pikachu once again. The Pokemon Horizon series looks amazing, and it really is if you've watched it, but seeing that now we're finally going to get the English dub really has me pumped. But what I'm most pumped about is finally seeing all the English actors and the cast come together. I really hope that we get a good cast. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to watch the series nonetheless, but, you know, not every voice actor will be great. I'm also really excited about Nimona, most of all. As you know, Nimona is my favorite character from the Paldea region, and seeing that she's also going to be in Masters really has me excited. I can't wait to get her and finally start working with her. Speaking of series, I'm also so pumped for Pokemon Paldean Wind. Like so many of you trainers, I really enjoyed Twilight Wings, and I also enjoyed the Hisui series. I thought that was a lot of fun, but who knows how this is going to go. I really think it's going to go well. After all, the last two series were very well received by audience and fans alike. So, whatever Paldean Wind brings, I am ready. I also just want to say that seeing Mew and Mewtwo both return for the Paldea games is incredible. It's been a very long time since last we've seen the new species Pokemon and the genetic Pokemon. I think that it's going to be a lot of fun having these added to your teams. After all, these two were the original mythical and legendary Pokemon. How else can you go better than that? And finally, my biggest thought most of all is on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasures of Area Zero. Playing these games is a lot of fun, but after seeing the DLC and everything that's coming up, really has me excited. After all, the first few times it was like, okay, I guess it's going to be fun, but seeing what's in store for all of us, as well as the people that we're going to meet, and a few Pokemon that we also met, really has me excited for both October and December. After seeing that we're going to go on a field trip, and then we're going to go to be enrolled at a new academy at Blueberry Academy, that's an amazing idea. I can't wait to see all the adventures we go on with our starters. I also just want to say that seeing the fully evolved starters behind in the background really made me more excited about them. As soon as those things are available, I am definitely getting them. And I also hope to do many videos with the Paldean starters and all the evolutions for all of you trainers. I'll tell you one thing trainers, as excited as I am for the DLC and everything that came out, there was one thing I did have a little bit of a nitpick about. Why was Pokemon Concierge not given any reference or any mention whatsoever? That series sounds amazing. Then again, it is a stop motion series and stop motion does take some time, but I really hope that the next time Pokemon does a live stream, we get to hear some more about the series. After all, a Pokemon stop motion series is amazing. Sign me up. Well, I'm also curious to hear from all of you trainers. What did you think about the live stream today? Was it good, bad, or do you have mixed feelings about it? What series of Pokemon are you the most excited about? Or do you think that any of the series that they announced aren't looking so good? Oh, and are you going to go for the DLC like I am? Or are you just going to pass it up and save your money as you don't think it's worth it? 
Well, if you liked what you saw, then please leave a like. If you have any questions, you want to answer any of the questions I gave to you, you want me to make an idea of yours into a video, or you just want to talk a little bit about Scarlet and Violet or the other stuff that happened today, then please comment. And as always, if you liked what you saw and you want to see more, smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to recommend me and share me to any others out there who are also Pokemon trainers. Thanks for watching, trainers, and I also hope you really enjoyed the live stream. Palm out!